for Q. John Fury, his father, was in the corner giving final words of advice. And he's standing now time. at ringside. There he is, looking to see what Tommy can produce tonight. Yeah, big John, very eager, obviously, for his son to do well here tonight. But straight away, Grant uh, has, has gone on that front foot and he's trying to whip the shot over the top uh, of Tommy Fury's lead hand. Fury's got the height and reach, needs to settle down and probably work behind his jab a little bit more. There you go, just maintain that gap and distance against the shorter man. But it's not a bad start from Grant, he knows what he's got to do, he's got to get up close and whip the shot over the top. There are some pleasantries exchanged between the two of them while the introductions were being made. And Grant, I think, suggesting to Fury in no uncertain terms he was coming for him and he's in a real fight. We will see. Sort of got Canelo colouring, didn't he? Could do with a Canelo performance. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's a right hand which yeah. does get through. It does with a nice little right up the on the inside as well from Tommy Fury. So Fury's got to think a little bit more now. He's against an opponent who's a little bit more aggressive and who's taken the fight to him. And um, we haven't seen t uh, Tommy Fury very often on that back foot, but he's thinking, isn't he, behind that jab? And he's keeping his distance. So, ag again, Grant trying to launch that right hand, just misses the target, but it's the right idea. Got to get closer. Well, he's tough and he's game, and he's already marked around that left eye, I think, is Jordan Grant. and get a closer look in a moment. Maybe just a little bit of bruising. Fury looking to tee off those bombs with the right hand. And the eye's fine. Yeah, again, Fury there working well with the, the, the straight shots, but then a lovely right uppercut there. As Grant came forward, look, that's made Grant just stop a little bit in, in, in his tracks because he had the right idea, he's backing Fury up onto the ropes, but got caught with a tremendously well-timed right to book at that was good shot. I know John Fury absolutely insistent that his son will not be rushed. There's another good right hand from Grant, says he won't be rushed. He's not got the real pedigree, the amateur experience, so it's a learning curve very much that he's on right now. Absolutely, when you haven't had that amateur experience. John knows what he's talking about there because he knows that his lad is learning on as he goes. So, yeah, he's going to take his time with him, and rightly so. I totally agree with that if he hasn't had the amateur experience. Well, it's an interesting opening round. Grant gets through to the end of it. Rich's thoughts in a moment. What? You can go. You can go. Welcome back to Telford. Tommy Fury in action. And Big John was shouting some advice through the ropes. Yes, but he's saying that use his jab a little bit more and bring in some body shots. And I thought it was a fair round from Fury here because he was put under a little bit of pressure. There's that right up, but then he avoids that right hand also. That was a, that was a good competitive round. Well, Grant certainly had his moments and definitely made it competitive at very least. And Fury clipped a couple of times by those right hands from Jordan Grant, the 23-year-old Scotsman. Scheduled for four rounds this one, and we're in the second. Grant needs to move his head a little bit more when he's standing in front of Fury, otherwise he's going to catch more jabs like that he does it as he's coming forward John needs to move his head side to side and just anticipate the jabs that are coming forward and then launch the attacks and those who know a bit about Jordan Grant said yeah he's game he's tough and he will most definitely give it a go and he's already showing that yeah he, he is isn't he I mean he's coming forward he actually caught Tommy there with a good shot just above us on the ropes Decent jab as well, finding the target, Fury's face. Yeah, one of the problems that, that Grant's got, he's probably starting his attacks from too far away, he's got to edge in a little bit more, like I say, with that head movement and use that lead hand. 
Sometimes he launches from too far out, falls short, and that just allows Tommy to regroup and to counter. Surely good that Fury's having to think, though. He's not just going out and blitzing somebody as he has some of his previous opponents. Yes, he's, he's looked impressive in those contests, but there hasn't been a lot in front of him. Here now, he's against someone who wants to win, who's come to win himself. And, uh, yeah, it, it, it's a tougher test here for Tommy Fury, but he's doing well at this stage. We're boxing well behind those straight shots. And Grant, again, always a threat coming forward. Clash of heads there as Grant came boring in. Sean Messer, the referee, will have to keep a watch on that. Fury not massively discouraged Grant so far. He catches him with a right hand there. Like you've said, John, it's a learning contest for Fury here. And what one thing you'll have to look at is he's going back onto the ropes. Got to avoid that, really. He's got the height and reach. That they use. Look, that's a lovely jab. And then just move around the opponent rather than moving back Bit onto of lateral the ropes. Movement. Yeah, and just move around him. Uh, keep the hands high, move around the opponents, and then stay in the centre of the ring, and that's when you use that height and reach. When you go back to the ropes, things can go wrong, your feet can come square, and that's when you bring the opponent, the shorter man, into it. Well, I'm sure a few people watching now would have thought, you know, just keep an eye on this, wait for opening and going and fetching another can of beer or another cup of tea, because this could end any moment in Fury's favour. Well, Grant is not adhering to that particular script and just tying up Fury in the closing seconds of the round. A round Fury surely won, but another very competitive one. Here we are in the Tommy Fury corner. Again, a few well-chosen words of advice from Daz to add to those being given by Lyndon Newborn and his team. There's a nice right hand from Fury. Couple of good shots there from Fury. You got it 2 0, presumably, to Fury at this point, Richie. Yeah, he's two rounds up, but they've both been competitive. That second round is a little bit closer. Um, but yeah, I mean, he, he's won both rounds. But I'm, I'm, it's good to see him in, in a competitive contest, and Grant's come to win. And uh, his strength is that right hand, there's that right hand over the top. We've spoke about it, if he gets close enough to Fury, then he becomes a danger, and on that occasion, that was a good shot. Yep. Got through to the target there. His two wins both came on points, Jordan Grant, to this stage. But as I said in the initial run-up to the beginning of the fight, as Fury gets a word of uh, admonishment from Messer, Sean Messer, Jordan Grant has got those unlicensed fights behind him as well. He has experience, tough guy. You can see Jordan Grant knows, knows a little bit about the game, doesn't he? He knows what he's doing. He has to quicken up, he has to close that gap down. You see, at that distance, Fury's in control of things. Nasty mouse starting to develop underneath the right eye of Jordan Grant. Only a four-rounder, though, so no chance that his vision is going to be affected. And working his way in with straight punches. Both fighters getting the talking to to tidy their work up. Now he's turned his man, now he starts to unload. But Grant knowing enough to cling on and stifle the onslaught. Yeah, good work that was from Fury. Grant tried to rush him, but Fury, fast reactions, brought him onto the shots. It wasn't too bad. Decent uppercut. That's a good shot, you know, good variation from Fury again. Straight shots and then brings that right up through the middle. Grant felt that, yeah, you can see he's not, he's not so... Um, he's just getting discouraged yeah, a little bit, he isn't he? He's not quite, as much. not quite so keen to get onto that front foot and to put it onto Fury, having felt a little bit more of the power in this third round. 
Anthony Fury again, just looking, just waiting for that uppercut again. You can just see it in him. Waiting to throw that shot. And I think Grant knows that that's coming. Look, there it is. Talking about Tommy Fury fighting in the United States in July on the undercard of his big brother's fight against Deontay Wilder. And it's looking certainly as though he's going to be heading towards that unbeaten. That's three rounds out of three. I think they'll be fairly pleased in that corner. Just brought his man onto the shot then. And um, Grant tried to rush him a little bit. Just launch it from too far out, if, if anything, Grant. We spoke about that before. And, but Fury, fast reactions, leans back, cut the good right hands, then he goes downstairs, tries to catch him with that right up also. Good camera angle there, and big John Fury telling his son exactly what he expects. So we move towards the fourth and final round. For the fourth and a final fight round. from which Tommy Fury is surely taking quite a lot. A real learning fight compared with what's gone before. I think so, John. I think he's learning a lot in this contest, and it's not over yet. This fellow's dangerous, Grant. Still coming forward, still trying to whip that shot over the top, that right hand. Really believes he can land that punch. Again, just showing variation there from Fury, that right uppercut, which has been a cracky shot for him um, during this contest. Crowd noise really building up. Interested in this fight, of course, but particularly in the appearance of Nathan Heaney. Stoke favourite, who sold the bulk of the tickets here. He's next in action after this one. Tommy Fury, meanwhile, has two minutes to go to, well, you would expect to get another victory, but Grant still in there and still with ambition. You can see what Grant's trying to do. He's, he's trying to counter with the right hand over the top as Fury throws that jab. But again, he's a little bit too far away. He's got to edge up himself, and it's head movement that's the key. He's got to move the head to avoid that jab and then whip the shot over. But nevertheless, it's been a, a good test for Fury because Grant has come to win. He's dangerous, and that's good a good right hand again from him. Good right hand. And it sent Fury back onto the ropes. And he'll have felt that one. And his corner getting very excited, urging him forward. Coach Jerry Higgins trying to instill belief in Grant in this final minute and a quarter or so. Fury been told by his dad to work in behind the jab. Still looking to find one big payoff shot to turn this one around, assuming the referee scored it the same way we have. Yeah, the, the, the key for Grant, though, is to quicken those feet up, John. When the fight's like this, it's a slower, slower pace. That suits, that suits Fury down to the ground with that long jab and long straight right hand. And when Grant quickens the feet up, then just causes Fury um, a couple more problems. Well, last few seconds. Fury not able to add to his catalogue of spectacular stoppage victories. There was a right hand there went in. And the referee not happy with Tommy Fury or indeed with Jordan Grant as the bell goes to end it. And a lot of people will say, at last, we saw Tommy Fury in a proper scrap. He had to think and he had to fight. He did indeed, and he will learn so much from that than the, the, the other fights that he's had, the other five contests. 
He's gone through a fight there against someone who, who was who wanted to win, who was dangerous, especially with the right hand over the top. There's a good straight right hand from, from Grant, and he really believed throughout the contest that he could win it, and that's probably the difference between Grant and a lot of Fury's other opponents. Grant really come to win this contest and put it on Tommy Fury. He did really well, but Fury, we have to say overall, another good performance, and he'll learn much more from that one than he did his other knockouts. Nice show of sportsmanship between the two of them. There are a few words beforehand, but I think Tommy knows now that Jordan Grant is a hard guy, and he came to win, he came to give him a fight, and showed that not everybody is going to be just bowled over and intimidated by the name as much as the power. Fury will surely have a win to his name. The referee's scorecard has now been given to Dev Sani. Let's see how it reads. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of boxing, the referee in charge, Sean Messer, scores the contest 40 points to 36 for your winner. And still undefeated, Tommy TNT Fury! Fury gets the win, and he makes it six out of six. But he was given a test tonight, and 